All right, uh, this is Mr. Martin. These are the video notes for Math Analysis, Section 11.3. Um, finally starting to get into some real calculus now. Uh, so we're going to be looking at uh, the tangent line problem, uh, which is also going to be our difference quotient. So if you remember from uh, algebra, the concept of a slope, typically when you think about uh, slope, you think about the slope of a line. Um, or you may have been taught rise over run, that's usually how we think of it. And with a line you have a single slope. So in calculus, what we're going to be interested in is, is the slope of a curve at a given point. So now depending on the point that you pick, the slope at that point is going to be different. So in order to approximate the slope at the given point on a curve, it's going to be necessary to consider the line that is tangent to the curve at that point. So this is the key thing here. So we're still looking for the slope of a line, but now we're, we're looking for the slope of a line that's tangent to the curve at a certain point. So the slope of this line is considered the slope of the curve at that point. So that's the important concept here. Um, and this idea of difference quotient, we're going to be using this for a couple different things also. And it really is, um, you know, one of the main, main ideas, um, foundations for calculus. So let's take a look at a couple different pictures here. For this first picture, the slope at P is positive. So here's point P, and then our tangent line is positive. So here's our tangent line. Okay, now when we talk about the tangent line, it does go through this point right here on the curve and unlike a tangent to a circle where it only intersects at one point this tangent line as you can see if we extend it over here is going to go through the curve again but really we're just interested at where it's tangent to the curve at this point P so slope is positive slope at P here is negative for this one and then here we have a horizontal line so the slope is going to be zero. Just a couple different examples of what we're looking at. So if I say I want to find the slope at P, I need to find the slope of this tangent line. So let's take a look at how we're going to do that. So the slope of, the, of a graph and the limit process. So we've been talking about limits here. We're actually going to apply limits. So to calculate the slope at a point, we will use limits. Consider the diagram and the secant line. Remember, a secant is a line that goes through two points on a curve. So this secant line goes through this point at the bottom, x comma f of x. And then this point over here, the x value is h units away. So here's x, and here is x plus h. And then here is my f of x and this point up here is going to be f of x plus h okay so the slope of the secant line will become a better approximation of the slope of the tangent line as the distance between x comma f of x and x plus h comma f of x plus h approaches zero so as I take this point and I bring it down the curve closer to x comma f of x the two points will get closer and closer so the limit we're going to be looking at the limit as this point approaches the other point in which case this value will be approaching zero okay so the slope of the secant line can be calculated uh, the same way we used to do it so it's rise over run so we're going to do y2, which is f of x plus h. That's my y coordinate up here. Minus f of x, so that's my y1 down here. And then when I do x2 minus x1, I'm going to have x plus h minus x, right? Because here's my two, x2 and x1. So when I subtract those, I'm simply going to be left with h. So this is our, our main concept today. So now, if we consider the limit, okay, so this, this right side here, this f of x plus h minus f of x over h, that's what we're going to call our difference quotient. All right, so 
um, we already talked about as the value of h approaches 0, the slope of the secant line will approach the slope of the tangent line. Therefore, the slope is going to be the limit as h approaches 0 of the slope of the secant line. And the, since the slope of the secant line is our difference quotient, it's going to equal the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h, provided, of course, that the limit does exist. So again, this is our key concept of the day, and this is what we're going to be working with. So if you have any questions after you watch the video, make sure you write them down and make sure you ask me the next time you see me in class. The difference quotient is used frequently in calculus, and using it to find the slope of a graph is a major concept. Okay, this is something that you're going to have to be able to do. All right, so let's take a look at an example. We want to find the slope of the graph of f of x equals x squared at the point negative 2, 4. So here's negative 2, 4. Here's that point. And we can kind of sketch in the tangent line. It's going to be somewhere over here. And what we want to do is we want to find the slope of that line. So the slope is going to be the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take x plus h and plug it in for x to get our f of x plus h. So this is going to be the limit as h approaches 0 of x plus h squared, and then minus f of x, which is just x squared. And that's all going to be over h. All right, and um, since we know the value of x is negative 2, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug that in. So now this becomes the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 2 plus h squared minus negative 2 squared all over h. So now we've got a bit of algebra to do to uh, simplify this. So I'm going to FOIL this out. That's going to be 4 minus 4h plus h squared, and then minus negative 2 squared is 4, so minus 4. And this is all over h. And notice that this 4 and this negative 4 cancel each other out. The terms that are left all have an h in them, so I'm going to factor out that h. So now this becomes the limit as h approaches 0 of h times negative 4 plus h divided by, this should be a, an h over here, divided by h. All right, so these h's are going to cancel out. Now I can uh, figure out the limit by direct substitution. So this is going to be negative 4 plus 0, which is equal to negative 4. So this number here is the slope of this line. So this line over here, slope is negative 4. Okay? So again, if you have any questions about this process, make sure that you ask. So this is finding the slope at a particular point. Most of the time, what we're going to do is we're just going to find what we would call a formula for the slope. And eventually, we're going to give that formula a name. So what we want to do is find a formula for the slope of the graph of f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 1. So again, our slope is going to be the limit as h approaches 0 of 2 times x plus h squared minus 1. So that's my f of x plus h, plugging in x plus h for x minus f of x, so that's 2x squared minus 1. Notice the parentheses. Be very careful with your parentheses, because if you leave those out, you need to make sure that you change that to positive 1, because eventually we're going to distribute. 
and this is all over h so this becomes the limit as h approaches 0 I'm going to foil this out and multiply by 2 I'm going to do those two things at the same time this would be uh, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared and then I'm going to multiply it by 2 so that gives me 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared and then I'm going to take away these parentheses and distribute that negative so I have minus 2x squared plus 1 and that's all over h so let's take a look we're going to have some stuff that cancels I have 2x squared here minus 2x squared there uh, let's see I missed uh, this minus 1 over here so I gotta put that back in sorry about that so this is uh, minus 1 in here so that's gonna cancel with the other one so this minus 1 cancels with that positive one sorry about that um, so the idea here for any of these problems is that when you start simplifying you're gonna cancel things out and everything that's left is gonna have an H in it so you can factor out a single H which will cancel with the denominator so now in this case we end up with the limit as H approaches 0 I'm gonna factor an H out of the terms that are left so then I'm gonna have 4x plus 2h divided by h these h's will cancel so now I can uh, solve this by direct substitution so it's going to be 4x plus 2 times 0 because h is approaching 0 so we're going to solve this by direct substitution which is 4x okay so this now is a formula for finding the slope at any point so now for part b if I want to use the formula you found in part A to find the slope at the point 2, 7, all I have to do now is plug in the x value to get a slope of 8. Okay? Now we could have plugged in 2 plus h back up here and we would have gotten 8 directly, but now I can find the slope at any point on the graph. Alright, so I'm going to end this, um, well, let's see, yeah, I'm going to end this video now, so this will be part one of these notes. Um, again, if you have any questions, make sure you write them down, and uh, if you don't have any questions, then you can continue on to part two.